Now we want to study the stresses on the oblique section due to pure shear. The element is in pure shear and we want to find out the stresses at an angle theta to that element. So let us start. So uh, stresses on oblique section due to pure shear the element is in pure shear so uh, let us have a element like this and we have applied a pure shear there is no tensile or compressive stresses are there which are applied Although we have not applied any compressive or tensile stresses, but at certain angle theta, at certain oblique section, there must be, there may be some tensile stresses or compressive stresses or there may be some shear stresses. So our aim is to find out sigma n and sigma t for this element. Right? And suppose this is our A, this is B and this is C. And this in ABC triangle, we have to analyze the stresses acting on this element ABC. So we can make here this element ABC. The stress acting on this BC is tau. This is BC. The stresses acting on this AC, AC is sigma n and sigma t. And the stress acting on this is again tau. So AB is acting on tau, BC is acting uh, on BC, the tau is acting, and on AC, sigma n and sigma t are acting. Right? So this is a stress condition. Now we can have a free body diagram where the stresses are acting. Right? So we can make a star, and on that star or free body diagram, we can find out the forces we can uh, we will find out the forces and that uh, our thumb rule that sigma f will be equal to zero that some of the forces in any direction will be equal to zero this entity we will use so let us make a star suppose this is our star what are the forces acting on it tau in upward direction tau vertically upward tau vertically upward sigma n in uh, inclined plane sigma n sigma t again inclined plane in tangential direction sigma t and we are choosing two two directions here right one is uh, normal direction one is tangential direction so this is our uh, you can see here this is our normal direction this is tangential direction this is normal direction, this is tangential direction, right? To this point O, this is our suppose O. And O is basically the free body, a point. We have considered this triangle as a point. Now, sigma and tau, sigma t, and then is this tau in AB, AB, this is in this direction, tau. So this is the stress condition. This is the stress condition in this element. Now, what we can do is, we can convert this stress into forces. Multi stress multiplied by area will be the force. Now, for this tau, this tau, the uh, area is BC multiplied by 1. So, tau into BC. For sigma t, this is uh, acting on AC multiplied by 1. 1 is the uh, thickness inside the board. So, area becomes AC into 1. So force becomes sigma t into AC into 1. So sigma t into AC. Sigma n multiplied by AC. And this tau is acting at AB. So tau multiplied by AB. So these are the forces. These are the forces acting on a, uh, this triangle. Now, what is the angle? Angle. 
Suppose we are taking angle with horizontal. Suppose this is our theta. Let us take because for uniformity because we were taking the angle theta from with horizontal. So let us take the angle with horizontal theta. Suppose with horizontal the angle is theta. So with horizontal this sigma t is making an angle theta. If this is theta this is again theta. If this is theta then tau ab tau ab will be having theta angle. This is theta. This is 90 minus theta and then theta. So this is a, our stress condition. So this is theta 90 minus theta, theta 90 minus theta, theta 90 minus theta, theta 90 minus theta, right? So this is our stress condition. And the angles are like this. Now we want to find out the sum of the forces in any one direction. So choose any one direction. Suppose we have chosen the uh, sigma uh, in this n direction first of all and finding the forces on this direction and some of the forces will be equal to zero for static equilibrium. So suppose we are taking n direction first so sigma fn should be equal to zero. Some of the forces in normal direction this normal direction should be equal to zero. We are taking positive normal direction in this direction this is our positive normal direction and in this direction it will be uh, negative opposite of this n. So what are the forces acting on normal direction? This is sigma n AC. So this will be sigma n AC. Sigma n AC. Then tau BC. Tau BC. It will be having component in this normal direction. So tau BC will have cos component. So this will be tau BC cos theta. This is another uh, force acting in normal direction. Tau AB. Tau AB will also be having a component in this direction and this will be negative. So minus tau AB. And sorry, it will be positive but sin because it is in this direction. So it is tau AB sin theta. Sin theta. And our last force is sigma T AC. And sigma T AC will not be having any component because it, it is at 90 degree to this normal direction and in perpendicular direction the uh, component will be 0 because cos 90 is 0. So this should be equal to 0. Right? So what will be sigma n? So sigma n will be equal to sigma n will be equal to minus tau bc upon ac cos theta minus tau ab upon ac sin theta. What is BC upon AC in this triangle? BC upon AC, this is sin theta, sin theta. So we can write sigma n will be equal to minus tau sin theta cos theta minus tau AB upon AC, AB upon AC base upon hypotenuse that is cos theta. So this is again sin theta cos theta. So you will get sigma n as minus tau tau by 2 sigma n will be equal to minus uh, sin theta cos theta it will be added up actually it is added up now so minus 2 tau sin theta cos theta so sigma n will be equal to 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so this will be minus tau sin 2 theta so this is the this is the normal stress acting on at an angle theta to this horizontal plane minus tau sin 2 theta right we have taken we have taken theta with horizontal if we would have taken theta with vertical if we would have taken uh, theta with vertical then it should come cos 2 theta so but now it is coming sin 2 theta right so we have taken uh, with horizontal so sin 2 theta right now, next is our shear stress, shear stress on this plane. So let us try to solve shear stress, find out the shear stress. For shear stress, for shear stress, let us take this direction, t direction as our reference direction, right? Or we can write 
or we can write like this we have written here that sum of the force in normal direction will be equal to 0 sum of the forces in tangential direction will be equal to 0 sum of the forces in tangential direction will be equal to 0 and this is our tangential direction this is our positive direction positive t direction tangential direction so this is our positive t direction and we have to take all the forces in tangential direction so let us start sigma t ac is already in this direction so we will write sigma t ac tau bc has component in this direction sin component so this will be tau bc sin theta sigma and ac will not have any component because this is perpendicular to this t direction so n is perpendicular to t so no component of n will be there in t cos 90 is 0 tau ab will be having a component in tangential direction in opposite direction it will be negative tau ab cos theta so this will be minus tau ab cos theta and that should be equal to 0 so 1 2 3 forces we have taken fourth force has no component sigma and ac so we have uh, removed this sigma and ac now what is sigma t that will be equal to tau ab by ac cos theta minus tau this is ab this is tau ab we have skipped here ab writing this is ab sin theta so this is tau ab this is tau ab by cos both how could be both ab this is tau bc bc basically sorry this is bc tau ab cos theta and tau bc bc by ac sin theta so this is our stress condition so tangential stress is tau ab by ac cos theta minus tau bc by ac sin theta now what is sigma t then this will be equal to tau ab by ac ab by ac in this direction in triangle ab by ac this is cos theta ab is base and ac is hypotenuse so cos theta so we will write tau cos square theta minus tau bc by ac bc by ac is sin theta so we can write minus tau sin square theta and what is sigma t again tau can be common out taken, taken out and cos square theta minus sin square theta is cos 2 theta so this will be equal to tau cos 2 theta cos 2 theta so this is our two results this is normal stress and this is shear stress for pure shear where the uh, stresses are in pure shear condition